Jefferson Awards. Tonight, News 8's Angie Sharp introduces us to our sixth nominee, a Clinton, Iowa man who is fighting poverty and crime. The Jefferson Awards, sponsored by Genesis and Budget Lines. This shell of an old school is a gateway for greatness. Double up. And all lessons yep. are hands on. Come on. In 2018, George Rodriguez transformed these classrooms into the Gateway Area Community Center. Where kids can be kids and young adults can prepare for the next chapter in their lives. One, two, two, three, two. The father of seven what is, it? is helping dozens yeah. of children every day take the right steps through boxing, dance, and more. The only thing that I'm doing is providing a service that everybody knew we needed but nobody was willing to take on the headache that came with it. That headache started with no heat. My paint would freeze, my, my hands would be, my, my, I would drop the brush because my fingers were so cold. And so that, that's how I met George. There were some old file cabinets and we were tilting the file cabinet sideways so we can use it to stand on while we were doing the drawings. Artist Ronnie Devers donated her time and talent to bring color to this cause and away from the problem. There are no colors. We're, we're people. We're not colors. And that's a, a big thing with George is uh, racism stops here. There is none. It's gone. And we want to make sure that we, we touched everybody's interest, but that we created an environment where you, it would be judgment free. That's why all services are free. There's Del Sol Boxing, <laughs> Ebony Illusion Dance, music lessons and monthly game nights. That was a good game. It's pretty cool to watch a kid that just walks in nervous, not knowing what to expect, and then in a matter of seconds, somebody says hi. Okay, are you ready? And that's it. They take off running and they never look back. Kids want attention and they don't care if it's negative attention or positive attention as long as they're getting attention. George's focus is to have a place of positive attention. Uh, because kids are going to get caught up in gangs and drugs. Once they're hooked on drugs, that's it. It changes their lives forever. But that drug, what people fail to understand is that that drug gave them a purpose. It might have been a bad purpose, but it was a purpose. So what we were able to create was a different kind of purpose for them. A positive purpose, a way to play, move, and fight, Double it up. even when it seems like the world is battling back. The sky's the limit within these walls and beyond. You give a kid a purpose, it changes their life forever. Give for good. This spokesman for the South Side is showing how one person can make a difference. We're glad that we can be the voice for, for the sometimes unspoken. Angie Sharp, WQAD News 8. To see more of George's story, head to WQAD.com. The story is at the top of the homepage right now. We'll be right back.